Kia ora bros and girls, welcome back to the channel. So today we're back with Summer Smackdown, the Delta edition. And um, yeah man, we're going to bring this team in, Dr. Doom, Medusa, Quake, um, along with Domino and She-Hulk. And um, I think this is going to counter these six quite well. So the first one we meet is Elsa. And the most annoying note about this Elsa is really the mix Master. Um, she's also got double tap, which means that if she does hit you with your specials, uh, it's twice the bus, twice the incinerate, twice the cold snap. Um, but really, mix master is, is kind of the main thing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to fight her as if she was sentinel. We're basically just going to parry light, medium, light, medium with domino. Um, and then depending on our luckies and unluckies, we might throw an SP1, we might throw an SP2. Uh, I don't get to throw the SP1 here because um, I'm going to just save it up and try to throw the SP2. But um either of them work because you get um i think if you are lucky and she's unlucky um you get that guaranteed bleed as well so this first fight goes starts off pretty well um she's unlucky now i'm not lucky so i'm not gonna get the critical bleed but uh, i throw the sp2 anyway it doesn't do that much damage uh but you get that a little bit with domino and uh yep we throw the sp1 here it does a lot of damage we're gonna evade that sp2 um, and then same thing, we're not going to dash in, we're just going to want wanting to we just parry and then light medium, light medium. Uh, because if we uh, dash in with the medium and we've just finished with the medium, she's going to evade that. Um, so that works her out. Um, you can also use Sunspot, you can also use uh, Omega with the same kind of strategy. Um, really any, uh, any mutant. So next up is Man Thing, and this is where a lot of people struggle with. Um, I have found Human Torch takes him down probably, probably about seventy-five percent, really, really, really quick, especially if he's in the pre-fight ability. Uh, but the annoying thing about uh, the Man Thing is the spite. So the spite and the poison. So if you actually like um, hitting him, then you get those poison charges on you, and automatically, uh, generally, it will it will kill you. And most of the Poison immune, the organic poison immune um, champs are cosmic, uh, unless you happen to have like a Hulk or a Red Hulk. Um, but I found Quake is really, really the best option for him, especially because he's an oscillate. Uh, he spends about 15 seconds in the defensive mode, which just allows you to charge your um, to charge your concussion and your aftershocks. So as you can see here, doing doing really, really well. The one thing that you'll notice that I'm not doing is I'm not doing um, evade dex, evade parry. I'm just doing evade parry. Uh, and the reason for that is because of the spite. Every time you trigger a buff and the dex counts as a buff, then he power gains um, and he'll, he'll um, cast a special. So I'm just evading, parrying, and uh, that kind of makes him really, really simple, actually, because he's, he's stunnable. He doesn't go unstoppable unless he throws a heavy. Um, so yeah, it makes this a pretty easy fight. So then that takes care of man thing, which is probably, to be honest, the most annoying person on this line. Um, and then that leaves us with two more, uh, four more fights, sorry. So this next fight, if you're prepared for her uh, guillotine 2099, she's very easy. Otherwise, um, she could be a, a real an annoying, annoying fight. Now she's got power thief and stuff. But we have Medusa. Now the cool thing about this one is she doesn't have anything like masochism or unlike that warlock, she doesn't have like the perma armor and the masochism. Um, so she's pretty straightforward, really. You just parry and then medium, light, medium. Um, and then you're gonna do that again until you get to your special one, throw that SB1 with a couple of armor um, uh, breaks on her. And yeah, man, she's armor shattered. And then after that, you can just go straight to town. Um, so. This is really, really easy. You don't really need to have uh, to have her duped either. You could do this with normal Medusa. Um, she doesn't need to be R5 either. Once she's armor shattered, um, it's just a matter of going to town until you take care of her. Because she's not going to gain any power. She's not going to re repair a region. She's not going to power drain you. She becomes very, very easy, very straightforward. Now this next fight against uh, Mr. Fantastic. Remember, if you remember the last time, I think I used Killmonger and the Void Synergy. Uh, but this time I don't have space in my team for that. So instead I've just opted to go for Quake. It's a little bit of a longer fight, um, but it works pretty well. Um, I can't remember he, him having too many annoying nodes. I think he's got Spry, which 
reduces your credit by like a thousand. Um, so it's a little bit annoying, but if you never have to touch him, you never have to attack into him, it doesn't really matter. Um, so you'll see here, I'm back to evade, dex, evade, parry. And uh, yeah, this fight becomes really, really simple. So then now we're about, I don't know, two thirds of the way through, um, almost after this fight, and we've only got a couple more, couple more fights to go. So this summer, um, summer SmackDown Delta is actually probably the easiest, uh, I think, of the four, uh, at least from what I remember. I, I do remember Alpha being quite easy as well, um, but I think this one is actually easier than Alpha. So you can see here, I'm, um, you can see my practice with Quake is really paying off. I'm actually getting a lot better with her. Um, and luckily the video is, is a little bit better as well this time. So this is still the same mirroring software. It's just decided to behave today. So um, yeah, this was for you guys. So this is this will be a bit of a long fight, but the good thing is that you don't get the surprise. You don't get the weird evade. You don't get the hitting in the face of with the unblockable against him. Um, but if you don't have him, I mean, Killmonger with Killmonger and Void could work as well because Void could work against Doom, and Killmonger could work against uh, Mr. Fantastic, um, and Kill Killmonger, I would say, could work against Elsa. But I just remembered, if you're not a mutant and you bleed Elsa, then you degen. So that's probably not a good choice. Uh, but he can take care of Mr. Fantastic while Void takes care of Doom. Now I think Doom is the next um, the next fight on the line. So you can see there, we finish off, no problem. Um, we carry on to Doom. And I actually brought She-Hulk mainly for Doom, um, but I'm probably a little bit out of practice. Now he's got the shock, he's got the enhanced um, power drain, the rage. Uh, really with Doom, the main thing is you don't want to push him to his SP2 because his SP2, unless you're very familiar with it, is a little bit more difficult to evade. Um, but I'm playing pretty new here, so even the SP1, I'm not evading that well. But his SP1 is actually quite easy to evade. It's a, very much like a long dex, a little bit like um, what Iron Man or, Ult or Ultron has. Um, he didn't really cooperate too well with me um, with the Passive Furies, and as you can see there, I kind of missed the first um, the first decks as well. But yeah, She-Hulk normally works against him. Um, so does Void. Um, so would Human Torch if you had him. Uh, and I think I end up using Quake to finish this off because I'm just a little bit rusty. And as you can see there, I had like five passive uh, furies, but he's not really throwing his SP1. And I don't want to push him to his SP2. So uh, he's not really cooperating. If he does cooperate with you, this fight could go really, really well. Uh, because once you get the seven passive furies on you, then he's going to throw that SP1 every single time and your damage is just going to ramp up. Um, so yeah, so She-Hulk is a good option if you've got her and if you play a little bit better than I do. But if you don't, then uh, there's a lot of other options as well in the science class that can take care of this guy. Uh, Void generally being the main one, a lot of people use Void as the counter because once you've got the, I think, petrified um, buff on him, uh, then it really messes uh, with his aura. So you can see there, I take him down kind of halfway, not the greatest fight in the world, but you know, I've had four good fights, so it's okay, we'll, we'll ride this one off. Uh, and then I'll come back and with Quake. And normally, for some reason, normally every time I face Doom with Quake, he's got some sort of enhanced power gain uh, or natural power gain that he gains. Luckily, this one does not have any power gain. So he actually is uh, a little bit easy to fight with Quake, which was a nice surprise. Um, so you can see I'm just doing the same thing. Evade Dex, Evade Parry. And uh, because he doesn't have Oscillate as well, you actually do a lot of damage every single uh, second wave. And yeah, so we're gonna wait for one more wave here and that should be enough to take care of business. And there he goes, he's down. And so the last fight uh, for me is the easiest fight because um, I know a lot of people struggle with life cycle and stuff, but Doom is the absolute bee's knees against both life cycle and against Cosmex and against Silver Surfer. 
uh, and so the, the rich get richer, the hit me idea, you end the life cycle. The life cycle is the one that really annoys most people because you have to knock him down and then in three and a half seconds finish him off right at the end. Uh, but Doom makes this really, really simple, particularly because you're going to be knocking him down throughout the entire fight. So eventually, by the time he's down to almost no life, um, you're already going to be at the max three and a half seconds. And because of the rotation of Doom, you don't really have to worry about doing anything different to what you normally would. So as you can see here, I'm stealing his power. The power, uh, the rich get richer node helps me get to my SP3 quicker. Uh, this is going to be the third knockdown. And then within our rotation, every rotation, we're knocking him down twice. So light, 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 medium, medium. This is going to be the fourth knockdown. So now it's up to two seconds, that life cycle. Um, I'm surprised I didn't get to my SP3 there, but you know, that's okay. Now I'm going to throw this one. This is going to take us to two and a half seconds because this is the fifth knockdown. And then now we're almost at about, we're almost at uh, him dying. And this is going to be the, the sixth um, knockdown. So this is now three seconds. But as you can see, he, he revived. Now I'm going to knock him down. And the next knockdown, what I'm going to do is once he's knocked down, then I'm going to throw that to SP3. So you can see there it's knocked down. It went gray. His life cycle is deactivated. And now I can throw that SP3. And despite the fair bit of lag, this Kamehameha is definitely, definitely going to finish him off. So hopefully this helps you guys out if you are struggling with a Delta. It is a really, really easy um, run through with this team. Um, so yeah, if you did, like, subscribe, leave a comment, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Kakiti ano, bros and girls.